Hi, welcome to Irvine Pets and Company. I'm your host, Kathy Graves. We're here at the beautiful Irvine Animal Care Center, and we'd like to show you some of the animals that we have available for adoption. And the first one is, this is Bert. And he's four years old, Chihuahua mix. He's been here quite a while here at the shelter, and he's just waiting for his home like all the animals here so please stay with us for the next 30 minutes and we'll be talking about a very special event coming up here at the shelter. Well, Cindy, this is one of our senior dogs, but goodness, he doesn't act it. He's very spry. Yeah, he is. This is Brandon. He's our longest dog resident. Oh. Um, he was owner relinquished. He's 14 years old. Oh, no. Um, but you would never know it by how he acts. He just, he loves to play. He, um, he in addition to that, he's just so good. He walks so well. He's so well behaved and, uh, and playful, too, which is awesome. So he's got a lot of life left in him. That is, he's a, he's a Chihuahua mix, right? Yes, so yes. he's smaller and he can live a long time. And gosh, look how healthy he is. Uh, off camera, he was grabbing other toys because he just wants to have fun. Yes, he, and he's, he would be a great companion. You know, the best thing, um, if, if we had a senior or someone over 62 come in, they could have Brandon for free. That's yeah. right, we waive the adoption fee in our That's Senior right. for That's Senior right. program. Well, he's an adorable little guy, very playful. Uh, he'll go walking with you, he'll just sit with you, or He'd be great playing with his toys. That's right. He's he like can... a great dog. This is Brandon. Mary Lou, this little guy has the cutest face. Who is this? This is Bumbles. Bumbles? He is uh, about eight years old, and he is a primarily uh, lots of opso. Uh huh. Something else mixed in. Not yeah. quite sure what it is. Good stuff, though. Good stuff good, in there. Good stuff. Good DNA. Yeah, right, right. Well, he's really cute. He looks fairly well mannered when he was when he walks. He walks fairly well with you. Well, he came in with uh, another dog, uh -huh. so uh, they said they had to give him up because they had a new baby, and the baby was allergic to the dogs. Oh, so, so they sad. gave up both dogs, and his um, friend. His little buddy at home has been adopted. Oh. So he needs uh, a home now. Well, he does, and we're coming up on the holidays, and it would be great to have him home for the holidays. You know, he is really a perfect gentleman. He walks no. very nicely uh, on the leash, and if you stop uh, and sit, he'll snuggle right up with you. Right. So if you're looking for a great dog, somebody we'd really like to get back in a home, because he's kind of lonely here. This is Bumbles. Lori, this isn't Snoopy 1. This is Snoopy 2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is a, an eight-year-old West Highland. He's very cute. Very distinctive look to him. Oh, yes. Um, I don't know if he's purebred, but the card does not say uh -huh. mix after it. So I'm thinking that he might be, you know, pretty, it's just an example of the variety of dogs that are in shelters all over. I'm glad you said that because people think uh, all of our mixed breeds are wonderful, but sometimes somebody is really attached to a certain breed and they're looking for that. Please keep checking our webpage because they, we do get purebreds. They are out there. Yeah. Yes, they are out there. And he's a real sweetie, easy to handle, he seems to get along. He's very attentive to everything. He's ah. very aware of everything going on around him. You mm -hmm. know? So it's kind of fun to watch him. Oh, he is. And, and being a terrier, too, he has that fun personality. Oh, yeah. A little, little crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> a little craziness to your family, yeah, if you yeah. want that. Oh, well, he's, he's really an adorable sweet. dog. And Westies are just wonderful. I'd say I'm no expert, but he certainly does look like that he is a purebred Westie. Yes, yes. So if you're looking for fun, perk, and energy, this is not Snoopy 1. Snoopy 2. Right. Bob, oh my goodness, who is this? 
This is Tucker. Um, I guess everybody has a favorite kind of dog. Mine uh -huh. is a terrier, and Tucker is about as playful a terrier as you can find. Um, as you can see, he also comes with the optional spiked hairdo. He does. Um, <laughs> which gives him a fantastic in look. Um, the dogs are just wonderful. They look their part. Um, they don't always have to have the same name that they come in with. Um, we adopted three from the shelter. Mm -hmm. We had one called Art Bear, which didn't look like oh, an Art no, Bear. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, but we had a Daisy and an Abby, and they looked just like a Daisy and Abby. <laughs> um, and as you can see, Tucker's look may just not be a Tucker, but the dog is absolutely one to go home with. Absolutely a fantastic sweetheart and a wonderful, playful terrier. Oh, he's so sweet. So he has that distinctive hairstyle. So if you're walking him around, people will stop and look. Absolutely. And wonder where Isn't he gets right, his hair Tucker? done. <laughs> <laughs> and terriers are so much fun, too. Especially this size. As we've mentioned before on the program, a lot of us have smaller homes or smaller yards, and he's perfect for that. Perfect. Walks well. Just a wonderful animal. That's great. Well, if you're looking for a real cutie, this is Tucker. This is one gorgeous dog, Frank. We have cute, we have beautiful, but this is gorgeous and handsome. Who is this? Yes, this is our handsome Robo. Robo. Yes, and Robo is uh, about a year and a half, somewhere around there. Okay. Uh, he's a uh, golden retriever chow blend. Very well mannered. I think he would do well even with another pet in the house because in a short time, He's been here, he hasn't shown any dog aggression. Oh great, well so, maybe he had a playmate before he came in, so he's used to it. That may very well be. But he's beautifully yep. mannered. Yep. <laughs> really a nice yes, dog. And I, I see know. more golden in there than chow. Maybe the tail is chow. Yes, the tail <laughs> kind of gives it away, but it's a nice tail. It is a it's nice, a nice tail. tail. He's proud of it. He is. Probably be a really good family dog too with an active family, somebody to play with, somebody to go with, somebody to jog with. Yes, and I think he'd love a house with a nice big yard where he can run around. I think so, or somebody that will walk him several times a day. Well, Robo's a really handsome guy, so if you're looking for a dog that will really light up your home, this is Robo. Darlene, you're here with, we're going to say Zafo with a D at the end. Zafo. Zafo. Yes. <laughs> this is a l sweet little two year old. They're saying terrier mix. I think there's some other things in her oh, definitely. lineage. She's a doll, female, spade female. Oh, I know, and very loving. Aww. She has a lot of energy. She's very food driven. She wants to please her, her human. And she is very agile. She would be great on, a, on an agility course. Oh, perfect. Oh, and she just, she just wants to please you. And she's a two-year-old. She has a lot of energy. Well, she is adorable, and I'm glad you brought up agility. Some people might not know what that is. They go through a course over and under and through things. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, and the dogs love it. It's just so much fun for them. That's good, and a dog that needs something to do. That's perfect. That's right. She needs a job. She, she needs a loving family, <laughs> first thing, and she, she would love to be on, on an agility course. Oh, well, if you're looking for a great dog, a real cutie with some energy there, but willing to please you, this is Zafo. Cindy, you're here with the All-American Dog. I am. She's an American Pit Bull Terrier. She's about four years old. Mm -hmm. She was owner relinquished with another Pit Bull that was adopted last month. She's, um, she's really well behaved. She, uh, she sits really well. She's um, a little stubborn on walks, but um, <laughs> very, very sweet. And um, uh, I don't always walk the pit bulls here. They can be uh, strong, but she's been an easy walker and uh, a ver very, very sweet dog. Well, maybe the stubbornness is she just has certain things she wants to see. That's true, that's <laughs> true. And she doesn't like to go back to her kennel, this is oh, true. Oh, I can but see why. She's not a barker or anything, and uh, she's, uh, um, she's a very, very good girl. Oh, she's really a, a very pretty girl and seems very well behaved. We have beautiful grounds here we try to show on the show, so there's lovely places for the dogs to walk and we have play areas too. So they're not just in their kennels all day, they do get out and get exercise. But Lucy looks like she's a really sweet dog. Maybe somebody that's used to handling a pit bull or a stronger dog would be great, although you said that she's fairly easy to handle. She is, she's easier than most of our other dogs, so. That's she's great. A, she's a good girl. Well, right, Lucy? Lucy's a beautiful girl, and if you're looking for a wonderful American pit, she would be it.
For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. She's just as happy as can be. She my sweet little angel. She's my D.O.G.
Well, Jesse, this is the first cat we'll visit with on the show. And who is this? This is Honey Boy. Oh, and Honey Boy's a real handsome guy. Absolutely. He's a ragdoll mix. Oh. Um, which gives him that very handsome coat. It does, uh, it coloration does. coloration and eye color and everything. Um, and he's actually one of our more senior cats. Oh, okay. He's, so certain, he's not showing his age, that's no, for sure. No, no. <laughs> he's quite rambunctious. Actually. Yes, he is. Um, he's seven years old, though. Oh, um, yeah, that's not that old. But um, adult cats uh -huh. uh, are actually very, very good for people because they're much calmer than a kitten. They're not going to get any bigger than a kitten. Right. Um, so we definitely recommend uh, visiting our older cats as well. Oh, absolutely. And you know their personality by then, so that's great. Um, we have our Seniors for Seniors program with the cats as we do with the dogs. So if you're a senior and we have a senior cat, we will waive the adoption fee for you, which is another great feature, especially this time of year. Honey Boy is just a real sweetie. I think anybody's home. He would add a lot, wouldn't he? Absolutely. We have a beautiful little white girl, and I know she's special to you because you know Queenie right well. I do. I, I really do. This is Queenie. She's about a year and a half, and okay. um, I fostered her. Oh, you did? Yeah. I um, She was pregnant when I got her, and uh, she had six babies. Wow. And um, she's polydactyl, uh -huh. excuse me, which means they got little extra toes here, and all of her babies came out polydactyl as well. Now, how did you become a foster mom? the shelter. Okay, well I uh, volunteered here for a little while mm -hmm. and then I decided I wanted to foster. Great. And so they um, whole class is here. All right. Um, so I did that and then um, I just after I did the classes I got my first foster and, and I've done many since then. <laughs> yes you have and all the supplies uh, that you need mm -hmm. uh, are given to you by the shelter. Right, right. So really you have no cost. Just a, exactly. just a wonderful time. Now what about when it comes to bringing them back? How is that? It's always tough. I'm sure. But, you know, I know that they're going on to getting a good home, so it makes it that much easier. It does, because we have such a beautiful shelter and such a great adoption rate. So, Queenie's kittens went home. We need to get yeah, Queenie home. Absolutely. She's an awesome cat. She's lots of energy. She loves to roll around and play with her toys. She's a, a nice cat. Well, if you're looking for a beautiful white cat, a little pe petite female, this is Queenie. Oh, we have a little, another little mom that, uh, or actually she came in just about she ready to have her kittens. ready to pop. She was ready to pop, oh, so she went into foster and had her kittens. Yes, and now she's back, and she's done with the babies and ready for a home. She is. Babies have all gone home, yeah. which is what often happens. The mom stays behind because people take the kittens. And then they don't look at these wonderful, wonderful mature kitties. Although she's what, just a little over a year. Yeah, she's pretty young. She was a young mom. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand she might want to be the only kitty. That, that's what they think is she's the one and only. The one and only. But sometimes that changes if you do a if you do a proper introduction, yeah, and we tell Slow. people how. We do. We give people good advice on how to introduce animals to each other. Yeah, and you know, with cats, you don't usually just throw them together. No. They, they need a little time to adjust to each other, get used to the new sights and sounds through the Smells. door first. Yeah. But Sabrina's just a real sweetie. She's got a beautiful coat. Nothing like I've ever seen. No, she's just gorgeous. Yeah. So if you're looking for a really gorgeous cat, a real sweetie, maybe the only cat, this is Sabrina. Well, we've gone from a beautiful white cat to a pure black cat. And who is this guy? This is Jones. Uh -huh. He's over here checking out the, <laughs> the room here. They, they love it when they, they come in. They I know cats it. are curious and yeah. have to check out everything. everything. He's, um, he's nine years old, oh. and um, he was brought to the, the shelter here from a lady who was fostering who just couldn't foster him anymore oh, okay. for a friend. Okay. Um, she, from what I understand, he, he likes kids. He's okay. really good, and he's a great lap cat. He might be a little shy at first, just, you know, he's nine. It's, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, he's been in a home, so yeah. we like people to realize that when you go up to the kennels that the cats are in, mm -hmm. sometimes they're just a little shy, but please remember that this is a strange place for them. Exactly. And cats are really uh, dedicated to, to places. I think they get attached to places, and so now they're in a strange place. Right. But we have these wonderful rooms, so somebody mm -hmm. can come mm -hmm. get Jones. Yeah, and sit here, and they can um, interact with him and see what a great cat he is. Yeah, so if you're looking for a really nice guy, likes other cats, likes children, a little shy at first, this is Jones. 
Well, we'd like to welcome Kevin to the show. My first time here. And, yes, it uh, is. Well, so far, Abu is just absolutely adorable. And I mean, not just adorable, that goes with all kittens. But it's just absolutely just friendly with everyone and loves to play, uh, loves strangers, and just, just wants to have a good time. Very and, calm too, her age especially. Oh yeah, and another polydactyl cat. Another polydactyl, can't get enough of that. You know? No, <laughs> okay. no, no, we're getting a lot of them yes. now at the shelter. I love the polydactyl cats. Yeah, and this time of year, I think every year the kitten season is longer yes. and we still have kittens. Mm -hmm. You would think it's, it's been winding down, but actually uh, we've got plenty here. So. Uh, right. Yeah. Lately, um, kittens have just been, well, you know, they just kill me. <laughs> <What can I say? laughs> They're yeah. adorable. Yes. and. This is a good reason that you'd like to come over and volunteer. The hours just really fly once you're here. It's, yeah, it's great. Yeah. So if you're looking for a kitten, we have a, we have a, boo. a, a boo and we have a few others too right now. You have beautiful cat right now. Who is this? This is Ginger and oh my gosh, look at her. Look how sweet she is. A couple of our cats have wanted to get down and run around and you know they're going to be busy cats, but I think Ginger's going to be your typical lap cat, if there is a typical she's cat. She's going to be someone's baby. I think so. Aww. And she's so pretty. She's got that beautiful beige and white coloring. Oh, look how good she is. Oh, what a good girl. Yeah, we're in love. <laughs> yeah, you should be. And I think she's only about six months old right oh, now. Still young. So being that young, she's really calm. So you're gonna get a really calm uh, kitten and a very calm cat with Ginger. Yes. I'm sure she has her play moments though. She does, she loves the laser pointers, uh, but I'm enjoying the love too much to bring it I out. know, I know. <laughs> and we do have a little store here at the shelter so people can stock up on toys here for their cats, dogs, and rabbits. So that's Absolutely, great. Yeah. So when you take Ginger home, you can stock up and get lots of nice toys for her. Yeah. Well, somebody looking for gorgeous, somebody looking for calm and collected, this is Ginger. Deb, mm -hmm. this cat doesn't have a very imaginative name. <laughs> oh, she's overgrown her name actually a little bit. This is Miss Kitty. Kitty, yes. Miss yeah. Kitty. Miss Kitty or Miss Kitty. Kitty. Yes. Um, she's a little black and white girl, a little shy, mm -hmm. as you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> And but she's very sweet and she, she does warm up to you once you play with her and pet her and so far she loves being pet. Right. In fact, she is purring. She does. And she's been here a little while. I think it's because she doesn't come out to greet people right. when you walk by her kennel. And you have to remember that with the cats and, and the dogs and maybe especially the cats because they, yeah. they tend to kind of pull back and not come greet you. Some of them do, some of them don't. Miss Kitty's just a little shy. So she would be one that you want to spend a lot of time with in one of these get acquainted rooms. Right. And she Definitely. will warm Yeah, she'll she warm up very to you. Sweet. Very sweet girl. Well, she is, so you just need to give her a chance. So come on over and see Miss Kitty. Take her out, play with her. You'll see she'll, she'll roam around the room and check everything out. Yes. And then she'll warm up to you. And once she gets in your home, she'll be a wonderful, wonderful pet. This is Miss Kitty. For more information about the animals featured on today's program, stop by the Irvine Animal Care Center or call our office. Hey everyone, we have a great event coming up. It's our annual Home for the Holidays extravaganza. Shelters and rescues from all over Southern California will be bringing over 500 beautiful adoptable pets who are looking for their permanent homes for the holidays and for life. In addition to animals for adoption, vendors with holiday gifts will be selling their wares. And our world famous silent auction and bake sale will be happening. So come on down to the Irvine Animal Care Center on December 8th from 10 to 3. We'll see you there. Well, this is the first rabbit we'll be visiting with today. And Bobby, who is this? This is Betty. Betty the bunny. Betty's a baby. She is a Harlequin mix. Okay. And we know she's probably a mix because Harlequins are usually about nine and a half, ten pounds. Whoa. And she's got little teeny ears. So okay. we think she's going to be smaller than that. She is a love. Oh. 
She'll need plenty of exercise mm -hmm. and she loves to be held. Oh, that's great for a rabbit because I know some don't like that. I know some cats and dogs don't like to be yeah. held, but especially some rabbits just don't like to be held. Well, there's a saying now with rabbits, when you pick up a rabbit, it's when in normally they, that's when they die, is when they get oh. eaten. So that kind of explains why some of them don't like to be picked up. <laughs> they know that. Yeah. It's oh my goodness. It's instinct in them with a, because they're prey animals. Okay. All but right. she's a sweetheart and would make a great first bunny. Well, if you're looking for a great rabbit, this is Betty the, bu Betty the Bunny. <laughs> we have another little rabbit, Michelle, but she's a little shy, right? She's very shy. She just got to the shelter, so she's Aww. trying to get used to being in a new place and as you know for any pet it's hard to get used to being in a new environment. It is because um, after she's been, been in a home. Yeah so it's kind of stressful. She's about two years old. She's a Rex bunny like the velveteen rabbit. Uh -huh. She feels like petting velvet. Oh she is. It's just gorgeous <laughs> fur. And um, she's about two years old and unfortunately she was given up by her owners. They just didn't have time for her. Oh. But they're so small. Yeah. <laughs> so you just want to make sure that when you're adopting a pet, you make sure that you're um, able to give the time and attention they need. Right. And especially this time of year, coming up on the holidays, sometimes it's kind of a last minute purchase. You see something cute, so, oh, we'll go buy it. But people don't realize that it's a, a long time commitment. Right. And bunnies are, on the average, around 10 year commitment. Okay. So remember that. Well, this is a real sweet one. She's kind of shy now, but once she gets into your home, right? Sure, she she's will. She's going to come around for she, sure. She will. Well, just in time for the holidays, we have a very appropriately named rabbit. This is Snowball. Snowball. He has beautiful blue eyes. Oh, he does. Uh, a lot of the white rabbits usually yeah, have the, the, the ruby the red, eyes. Yeah, ruby as eyes. We call them the red eyes. Uh -huh. and he's got the beautiful blue eyes. He does. Little teeny ears. He's about three months, four months oh, old. Just a baby. Yeah. And he's he's not going to be really large. I'd okay. say average size for a bunny is six to six to ten pounds. Oh wow. So, but I think he's probably going to be more in lines of four to five. Okay. He's really sweet. He's just adorable. And because he's still young, he'll be a little rambunctious, right? Needs some exercise in his toys to play mm -hmm. with. And toys are as simple as the core of a, a paper towels. They love cardboard. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, very simple. They, they're kind of like a child. <laughs> you buy them a present, but they want to play with the box. They want the box. The same. <laughs> Type of thing. Perfect. Well, he is just adorable. So if you're looking for a little guy, this is Snowball. Well, this is the last animal we'll have a chance to visit with on this show. Michelle, who is this? This is Nibbles. Nibbles is our little show closer and maybe show stopper. Yes. She's about five months old. She's adorable. She's got some black on her nose and on her ears, so she looks like she was digging. It makes her just even more cuter. That's adorable. Well, we have lots of adoptable animals here at the Irvine Animal Care Center. We're in the holiday season, and we'd love to see all of them home for the holidays. Yes, we would. Which, of course, is our event coming up on December 8th. So we hope to see you here at the Irvine Animal Care Center and here on Irvine Pets and Company.